A while back in a video that I made when I milled up a cherry log and was using the tractor to lift the lumber up into the loft for drying, I made a comment that an upgrade coming to this tractor may be or should probably be true pallet forks with the quick attach system on the loader. And I have been waffling on this for a long time just because of the cost of getting the conversion plate and then needing to update the bucket and all of that. But that day has finally come. So here it is, a brand new 60 inch bucket. And in this box is the quick attach adapter plate to put on the Ford 770 loader. All of this, I got through the Tractor Fun store from Ask Tractor Mike. He's got a great YouTube channel, particularly for new tractor users. But this is custom made for the loader. Took just a couple of weeks to get here, which was pretty nice. I had them add on the hooks and D-ring on top of the bucket. So plan of attack now is going to be get the old bucket off and then work on getting this adapter plate on the loader so that we can come and pick up this new bucket. Now you don't have to get a new bucket just when you switch over to the quick attach. What you would need to do is just cut off the pin mounts and then weld on a quick attach mount plate. That's doable, but I didn't want to bother with this bucket because the bottom edge is currently cracked right there several inches back. It's been cracked a couple of times and welded before. And on top of that, as you can see, the bottom of this bucket is not at all straight anymore. The solution to this at this point would be to cut the entire bottom panel out of the bucket and then replace it with a brand new piece of steel and a new cutting edge. And by the time I get all of that done, I may as well just start with a new bucket because this bucket is not the most robust. Just take a look at the top here. All you have is this folded edge and just a single flat piece of steel. So it's not the most durable bucket, which is why, of course, we've ended up with these bends and cracks in the first place. By comparison, you can see that this new bucket has a nice flat top to it. There's actually a square tube inside here this bucket is set up for a bolt-on cutting edge. It's got these reinforced thicker steel elements here on the side. So it's a more robust bucket overall. Now this is probably gonna be the most difficult part of this whole thing is getting these old loader pins out. So on this side, both of them have the bolts holding them in. On this side, one of them's just a cotter pin and the other one's got a bolt. So we'll get the bolts out and I'll leave the pins because I got to figure out where I want to put the bucket. So first and foremost, I just want to get these bolts out. Fencing pliers have a lot of uses, including pulling on big cotter pins. So I've set the bucket down on these wood skids here, and I curled the curl cylinders all the way back, and there's no pressure on these pins, so that comes right out. And there's no pressure on the other side either. I'll go get that one. These bottom pins are going to be trickier because there's a little bit of load on there. I may need a shorter dowel for this. This is just an old dowel I'm using as a punch.
Getting those pins out wasn't so bad. That is a plug for keeping your machine lubricated as intended. Next up, we'll be putting the quick attach adapter plate on the loader. Here is the adapter plate. So our loader pins are gonna go in here. So there's the arm and this is where the curl cylinder is gonna go. So what I did is I set up the pins here on each side. I'm gonna use the pallet to hold this quick attach piece because it weighs about 80 pounds. So I'll pull the tractor up. We'll get the loader over here, get these bottom pins in. And from there, it'll be easy. I can just rotate this plate and get those upper pins in on the curl cylinders. So we've got a couple fitment issues off the bat here, and this is number one. I don't know if you can see that, but the end of that loader arm is binding against the plate. And this is clearly not rolled back all the way. So that's issue number one. Issue number two is where this hole is here. So if I put a bolt in there, if you curl this back on the other side, it's going to contact the loader arm. And I'll show you on the old bucket, this is turned so that the hole is actually over here. So here is the pin hole and then the bolt hole on the old bucket. So it's oriented that way, kind of 90 degrees to how the top one is. We'll cross one problem at a time. I think what I'm gonna do is get the pins out, get this off, grind a little bit of the corner off of the end of the loader arm. And then once I do have it all fitted on here with both pins in, I'm pretty sure if I turn this just to here and drill a hole there, it's actually gonna work and not be an issue anymore. I didn't go ahead and drill those holes yet. I'm actually gonna reach out to Tractor Mike, send them an email first, just before I drill, just to say, hey, this is the fitment issue. Here's what's going on. Cause I don't know how many of these they deal with, but they can let the manufacturer know that there is that potential issue there. I've never used one of these quick attach buckets before. Now that this plate is on the loader, I wanna pick up the bucket and just see how it goes. We can get the bolts in those pins later.
I've kind of hatched a new plan for the loader pins connecting the quick attach faceplate to the loader arms. Let's take a look at what I'm cooking up here. So I pulled this upper pin. It occurred to me this pin does not have the retainer bolt. It uses a cotter pin instead. And I don't see any reason why I can't put this pin in the bottom instead of in the top. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna switch these around on this side. That will alleviate the issue of needing to put the retainer bolt through that hole, which has a conflict with the bottom of the loader arm. Then on this side, you can see that the pin I have in the top is long. It extends beyond the faceplate, whereas the lower pin does not. So I have an opportunity here to take this pin bore a hole through to receive a cotter pin and use that in the bottom and put the shorter pin with the bolt up in the top. And again, that will alleviate that issue and it avoids needing to drill a new hole right near that seam or that corner to receive the retainer bolt. I did pick up brand new cotter pins as well so that I could replace this because the old rusty one, I don't necessarily want to be trusting it. All right, this side is secure. Now on this side, we take out this top pin, which is the longer of the two. Let's see if I can drill a quarter inch hole in it. All right, so I decided to drill that quarter inch hole off camera. You can see here's where the frame was rubbing before. I've drilled just outside that so that essentially we'll be holding this tight when I put the cotter pin in. So next thing to do is take that pin down there out of the bottom, put this one in, put a cotter pin in, move that pin up here to the top and put a bolt in. All right, well, just like that, we are attached to the tractor securely. I'm gonna raise the loader here, grease those loader pins, and this project's done. I'll put that bucket on, that's the next attachment that I need, and now I can get pallet forks or any other skid steer quick attach compatible attachment for this front end loader. This is probably overdue, given the little trial I did before I had these pins fully set in here of attaching and detaching from the bucket. I'm really gonna like having this feature. I forgot to mention this up front, but this quick attach faceplate is an ATI model QA-F04. That's this model faceplate, supposed to fit the 770, the 770A and 770B Ford loaders. The 770 loader was used on the 1300 through 1700 Ford compact tractors. And I believe also the 1310 through 1710 used the 770A or B. The 1900 used a 771 loader. I'm not sure about the 1910. Regardless, this fits a lot of these older Ford compact tractors. You did see the couple issues that I had with this, but they were pretty easily overcome in terms of getting this to mount up right on this loader.